We uh, have been uh, working on web science for the last 10 years, and that was when, when, uh, when uh, the idea was born uh, 10 years ago that the web is not just made by computer scientists, it's made by everybody who is actually using it, and it has to be um, researched and investigated from many different angles and through many different disciplines. We just had the last web science conference in Hanover half a year ago. Very interesting talks from areas like sociology, uh, discussions in law, philosophy, obviously computer science. And this is really what web science has added to our field. This is why in many of our projects, important contributions do not only come from computer science, they come from other disciplines um, to really provide solutions which, which are useful for everybody. Hello, I am uh, Dr. Abhishek Anand. I'm a researcher here at the L3S Research Institute. Uh, I did my PhD in the Max Planck Institute in Germany uh, in 2013 and since then I've been actually working in L3S in a project called Alexandria. My primary research interests are looking at temporal issues in web information systems. Specifically if they're historians or social scientists who want to actually search for information just looking into Google might only give them very current documents which might not be optimal for the use cases and hence looking at longer temporal collections which we call as long data might be the solution. The first kind of questions which I answer is how can I actually rank information to allow for longitudinal or historical user information needs, right? So that's the first question. Um, the second kind of question which I answer is, we observe that long data or this longitudinal data is also big data. So how can you actually search information in an efficient manner? The third kind of research question is a kind of cute question which I answer is, how can you actually enrich existing knowledge bases like Wikipedia by using um, resources from the web archives, right? So that's kind of interesting because there are many entities in Wikipedia which are underpopulated. So can we use automated methods to enrich or populate Wikipedia, which everyone really uses? That's it. Thank you. My name is Benjamin Schutze. I'm a senior legal research associate and um, lawyer at the Institute of Legal Informatics. My research is information technology law, which comprises of data protection, intellectual property, um, as well as e-commerce. Currently, I um, am involved in a research project on big data called ABIDA, which is an acronym that stands for assessing big data. And unlike other research projects, it does not have an engineering focus, but rather has a human science emphasis. Because it is, from, from our point of view, um, vital to um, make sure that big data, or its in its wider sense, digitization or digitalization in general, is not an end to itself, um, but rather serves individuals and ultimately us as a whole, um, 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 as, as digitalization might uh, prove to be one of the greatest challenges of our time. My name is Tina Krügel. I'm a junior professor at the University of Hanover, working at the Faculty of Law and um, there in the area of IT law with a special focus on data protection. Facing di digitalization in all areas of life, data protection, privacy and ethical issues become more and more important. Social media data is not only interesting for the companies behind, but also for health insurance companies employers and security agencies. Self-driving cars collect a huge amount of data and combine them and a lot of such data is personal data. It will be a challenge to think about new provisions which serve both economical interests on the one hand side and the human being um, on the other side. My name is Thomas Rister. I'm working for the Elsewhere Research Center in Hanover and I'm interested in all kinds of a research question around temple evolution that you find on the web but also on, on other long-term collections. For this we have here the, the German web archive providing con uh, content from the web from 19, 1960 to 2013 and that is one collection that we also provide to, to the European to the worldwide researchers in the context of the So Big Data project which is 
a project which aims at building a research infrastructure for Europe and researchers all over the world to work with social content and the web is an important part of this to provide more insights into the, to the society and how the web is evolving, how the society is evolving and so on. This is important work because this data sets and the correlation with other data sets provides more insight into the society and uh, helps to, to shape the, uh, the, the society and the infrastructures of, for the future of, of Europe. My name is Jaspreet Singh. I'm a PhD student at the L3S Research Center in Leibniz University, Hanover. My research focuses on helping users explore large historical collections like news and web archives. At the center of my research is the user, historians, social scientists, and even web scientists who help to extract insights from these collections to produce research studies. We believe that it is important to tailor algorithms and build systems for people who actively work with such collections in order to make greater strides. In a nutshell, our work is to enable web scientists to explore these large collections, study the past, and help build a better future.